Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Postman course. Today we are going to learn how you can build custom workflows in Postman. So if you have got a collection with a lot of different requests, right? And if you want to execute this request in a particular order, right? So you want to build a workflow which executes in the same order in which you want them to execute, right? So how you can do that in Postman? We are going to see exactly that. So I'm in Postman web, right? And I have logged in into my account. In this account, I have got three collections. So I'm going to pick up this GitHub collection. Okay, so it has got four requests, right? The first is a post request, which creates a repository. The second is a get request, which gets the created repository. And then there is a patch request, which updates that, that same repository. And then finally, we delete the repository using this delete request. Okay, so these are different types of API requests which we have built using Postman. Now, if we want to execute this in a collection, right? So GitHub is the collection and I want to run it in the collection runner so that all the requests are executed in a certain sequence. Okay, so let me go to the collection runner, right? It's at the bottom of your screen and then here you need to drag a particular collection in order to run that okay so if i want to run github i can just drag and drop it here right and then i can have any number of iterations i can have some delay between each request right and i can also select a data file okay uh, now these are some other options uh, these all it's i've already explained all of these options in a different video where i talk about collection runner right now Let's go ahead and run this GitHub request. Okay, so this will be executed in the same order how we have defined it inside our collection, right? So now this is working fine. All the requests are getting executed properly, right? Because they are in the right sequence. But what if you are not aware of the sequence at the initial stages, right? So you just build your request and put it in a collection and then later on you want them to execute in a certain order right for ex for instance here also if i drag and drop this delete request okay so this delete request if i drag it in between and put it before get and patch okay what do you think will happen so now what will happen is it is going to create a repository it is going to delete the repository but when it comes to get created repository and update repository it's going to fail because that repository doesn't exist right so this is a wrong workflow now if you are importing a certain collection and this is the state of that particular collection right the requests are not in the correct order so what is going to happen if i run this it is going it is going to fail right so let's see that so what we are going to do is I'm going to drag it and put it here, right? So post, delete, get and patch. Now I'm going to run this. And as expected, so it is going to fail, right? So by default, Postman will just execute it as it is, right? How you have defined your request inside the collection, okay? But what if I want to execute this in a certain order using my scripts, right? So I don't want to do it manually every time. I want to use my scripts so that they get executed in a certain order, no matter what order they are present in a collection. I just want to execute them in a certain workflow order, right? So let's see what we can do here, okay? So in Postman, you have got a feature called the set next request. Okay, so this can be defined inside tests or in the pre request script. No matter where you define it, it is going to execute the next script which you have defined inside that particular line of code. Okay, so here if I say postman dot set net next request, right? So this is the method, and inside this, either you can put um, the ID of the request or the name of the request, right? So let me put the name of the request. I'm going to put get created repository, right? So what's it going to do? It's going to pick up this line and 
after this request it is going to set the next request to this particular request right so after this request it is going to execute this request right now let's go ahead and save this and uh, now let's come here right here i'm going to say postman dot set next request and here i'm going to put update repository okay and the same i'm going to do it here right at the end so postman dot set next request and inside this i'm going to put delete request or delete repository right now the last remaining request which is the delete repository okay so after this we don't have any request right so either we can leave it as it is or there is another option called postman dot set next request right inside this you can put none so what this will do it will end the sequence okay so it will not continue after this the workflow will end here okay so just remember you need to put this method with null for your last request right so if you don't want to continue after this then put this particular method with the null value okay go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and save all our request okay save this and this is saved this is saved okay so now we have added a new method to build our workflow right now let's create a new workflow from the collection runner right so i'm going to pull this folder here and as you can see now the order is post delete get patch right so ideally it should uh, follow this particular order but we have defined something in our script which changes this particular order okay so we'll see let's go ahead and run this and the first request is the post request right and then you will see the get request is getting uh, executed and then the patch and then the delete okay and everything is in past stages and you will see this is a different order than what is defined inside the collection and that is because of the set next request method right so that is basically helping us to build a workflow where we can execute the request in a certain order which we want right so this is how you can build your own custom workflows inside your collections and then you can run them in the collection runner in that particular order